morning, everyone. It's Jen from Caddis Scrap Designs, and I am here to share with you my um, thrift store finds. Like I say, it's nifty being thrifty, and this morning at 7.30, I was at my favorite thrift store um, that I've told you about before. It's only open from 8 to 12, and at 7.30, a line forms outside, and they only let a certain amount of people in the doors. Um, today they did have the craft section half off again, um, everything but fabric. It did include lace, so I was able to get some lace today. And I just wanted to show you some of the things that I got today. <clears throat> so I picked up this clover iron, which I actually already have one. Um, just, it's not as good as this one. This one is a little bit better than the one I have. But what I also found there was a bigger head for the iron. So I'm able to swap out and it actually comes with a screwdriver for me to undo this head and, and put the bigger one on. And I thought that I could use this uh, for the beeswax instead of using my regular iron. Um, and I thought for $2, I got this for $2 and I got this for 50 cents. So for $2 and 50 cents, because these go for $30 in the store brand new. This is still in the packaging. Um, I know it's been open. I think it's been open. I don't know. The stand for it's over a little bit, but, um, for $2 and 50 cents, I thought this was probably my best bargain today. Um, so I wanted to show you this first. So this is by far the best bargain I got today. So I'm just gonna put this to the side. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you this. It's a box. <laughs> I'm gonna do it this way. Sorry if my table's shaking, but it had a bunch of, it had index cards in the back so nice, large, big index cards, um, which I could use for journaling, making journal cards. It also had these kind of cards that had contact dates, you know, put your date there, your discussion. It was probably for an office because um, it came with a lot of them. So again, they were nice, thick card, and I thought that um, for the price, the box, the cards, a um, dollar fifty. I just figured I couldn't go wrong. I can't even get these for a dollar fifty in the store. These are brand new, never used, not written on, nothing. Um, I don't know how many are here, but there's quite a few here, and I saw these, and the thickness of them, and what I could do with these, I just had to get them a dollar fifty. My junk journal friends will understand where I'm coming from with that. So this whole box, $1.50. That was another good buy considering. So I'm just going to put that to the side. I did get some storage containers. Sterilite. They had two of them. They were marked down half off. So I got these for a dollar a piece. And with all the craft stuff we all have, we always need storage bins. And these are small enough to keep on my shelves um, above me where I craft. So I figured why not for a buck a piece. So I did pick these up. Then this was not on sale, but I picked up some fabric. And this eyelet fabric I got to yard and I got this for 75 cents. Um, I just figured, you know, I could use this for something. I don't know what yet, but I could use it for something. And I'm low on white and cream fabric. So I did pick that up. Um, I also picked up some muslin. I got this for 50 cents. Basically their um, fabric, why they told me they don't 
put it half off with the craft stuff and it is in the craft section um, is because they sell it at a dollar a yard. So no matter what fabric it is. Um, so I got this for 50 cents. Then I got this one, which is a pretty thick, heavy fabric. I figured I could use this as a journal cover at some point. Um, I got this for 50 cents. I didn't get a whole lot of fabric because I don't need a whole lot of fabric right now. I don't want to keep storing up um, my space with fabric because I'm not using it as fast as I should. And then I got this for 50 cents as well. It's a half a yard. So yeah, so the ones I got for 50 cents were half yards. And like I said, I'm running low on the whites to dye, to coffee dye. Um, or whatever dye I need at the time. So I did buy those, but the laces were 50% off. So I got myself some more eyelet uh, trim for 25 cents, two yards. I thought that was a good deal. I also got Two yards of this lace for 50 cents. I'm not sure if it's in one piece or two, but I figured again for 50 cents, I can color this, I could coffee stain it. I can ink dye it when I need to, if there's a specific color that I need at the time. That's why I pick up a lot of the white excuse me I got this for a dollar uh, 50 cents um, I figured I could use this for cl uh, closures on my journals um, it's soft enough to wrap around and I don't know if it says one yard I don't know but it's a dollar 50 cents is what I paid for it though so I did pick this up. I also picked up another cream, six yards for $1.50. I don't know where they get their pricing from or how they price. Um, I think it depends on who's pricing, uh, what volunteer is actually doing the pricing, but this had a nice scalloped edge. So I did pick this up. I like that a lot. That could be nice, a nice trim um on the ends of the pages on a book on a journal and there's enough of it so i did pick this up and then i saw some brown that i picked up I don't have a whole lot of brown. A lot of the laces I do buy are cream and white, and then I coffee stain them or ink dye them or whatever, depending on what the need is. So I did pick that up. And because Halloween's coming up, not sure what I'm gonna be doing. I could have probably used this on the Halloween journal I just did. I did pick up black. It had a nice scalloped edge. I thought it was, very pretty um i definitely could have used that on that journal that i just made but i figured i i could definitely use this if i make another halloween journal five yards of that i don't have a whole lot of black lace so then this was just kind of laying there she gave it to me for a quarter it's lace. I don't know where it came from. It came from a piece of something. So I picked this up for a quarter. I don't know how much is here, but you can't go wrong for a quarter. 
And then they had this for a quarter she gave it to me for. It was wrapped up and I have a funny feeling it's just pieces. Which it's exactly what it is. It's just pieces of fabric. So we could use that for anything. I could use those for journals, for snippets, for whatever, for a quarter. So that wasn't bad either. I'm gonna leave that like that. Then I found an Italian dictionary. It's a little, little Italian dictionary for a quarter. Um, I figured I could use these in my journals as well. Um, because I don't have too many, I, all my books are English. Um, I think I have one, one, uh, dictionary that's not, and then this is my second. So now I have that. Then I found more large index cards, which I could use for journaling for a quarter. I don't know how many are in here, but for 25 cents, it's cheaper than the Dollar Tree. And I also found these um, Canon photo paper that I could print out um, some of the old photos I have that I've been wanting to print out for a quarter each. I show this? I don't think I show this. So I found this and they had four of them there and I saw these the last time I was there and I almost got it and I didn't. They were originally marked eight dollars. Um, they were half off four dollars. I did not know that these were creative memories. Um, I've seen people use these before. I don't have a cutter that is this small at all. Um, I have a really large one and then I have um, a 12 inch one, but I don't have one that, that's this small um, that I can keep on my, um, where I craft. And it has, I guess that's for, I don't know what that's for, I guess some for your tools or whatever. But, so I got this for $4 today. So I think this was a good deal. I don't know, you guys tell me, was it a good deal? I don't buy Creative Memories. I, I never have bought it brand new. Um, so for $4, I don't really, I don't know what these go for brand new, but it looks brand new. Um, it really does. <laughs> I did test it out in the store to make sure that it cut. Um, so I did get this and I, I think that was a good deal. You guys let me know. The other thing I got, I don't know, it's cardstock. I got it for a quarter. I did open it while I was in the store and it's nice and thick. And I could use this for the inside, like when I need to, instead of using my good cardstock um, to cover not to cover the journals, but for the inside of the journals behind the fabric. Um, so I did pick this up. So for 25 cents, I figured this is perfect. Eight and a half by 11. Sorry, my ring doorbell keeps going off. And the last thing I picked up today, I don't know what I'm going to do with. I found it. I've never seen it before. It's, we all do altered, um, playing cards and these are altered playing cards and I had the lady open it because they were brand new they were still in the package and I thought maybe it was just black packaging but it wasn't they're actually black cards um which I just I don't know if you could see that from the camera or not I've never seen it before I don't know if these type can be altered or not I guess I'll find out but um, they were 50 cents, so I did buy them to see what I could do with them. Again, I'm not sure they could go on a Halloween journal um, if I could alter them, grunge them up, 
see what I could do. Uh, but I did purchase them and we'll see what happens. <laughs> so anyhow, this is what I got today. This was my haul. Um, any questions or comments, please leave it below in the comment section. Let me know if you think I got a good deal today or what you, any comments at all, anything you thought, anything you think. Let me know about that creative memories if you can, if that was a good deal, because I'd really like to know. I mean, I could Google it, but you guys could let me know. And um, thank you very much for watching my video. I appreciate it as always. And you guys have a great day. Bye.